question is, you're coming to Lake Gunnersville, phenomenal fishery. How do you find them and catch them in that short period of time that you have? Number one suggestion I would have, get you a lipless crankbait. Uh, I like the Rattle Trap brand specifically, but one of those lipless crankbaits. We have a phenomenal grass lake. If you're not sure where to go, get in the back of the grass drains. If you look at your topography, the grass grows down to about 10 feet. And looking at your, your mapping on your Hummingbird or your Lawrence, you'll see deeper drains. And what that's gonna make is, is feather grass, where it tapers away as it gets down to that 10 foot area. You get your rattle trap, something in the brown, red, orange during the spring months, transfer over to a white or a chrome in the summer and fall months. There's always fish that live in the grass beds at Lake Gunnersville. You can always catch them in the back of those grass drains. If you've only got a couple of days, you're guaranteed to catch fish. Put that rattle trap in your hand, get back in the grass drains, and enjoy Lake Gunnersville. Hey, I want to give you a quick tip. If you come to Gunnersville like everybody else comes to Gunnersville to have a fun fishing trip, it's one of the greatest lakes in the country, greatest towns, food, people, everything is great in Gunnersville. That's why I moved here. But if you come to this lake, you can bring you some plastics and some crankbaits, and you can just beat the bank on Gunnersville and you'll always catch fish. It's not the easiest place to catch fish in the late fall, but that's the rest of the year though, it's pretty easy to catch fish. A good old Cinco, Green Pumpkin Cinco, and a Livingston crankbait like I use the Howler crankbait. The crawfish color especially stays sold out around here after I won a classic on it. Rip wraps and bridges are well known here. Everybody can catch them on rip wraps and bridges. Then get in these coves around the points and the pockets and throw the, the Cinco and plastic worms, things like that, jigs on boat docks and you'll always find fish. Kind of the midsection of the lake is always really good uh, from really from about waterfront down to Spring Creek. That section of the lake is really a good area to just stay in and you'll find fish every time. So hope you catch them when you come. Say good, uh, say hello to us if I see you out on the lake. Uh, good luck. God bless you. I'm Randy Howell. Hey Chris Lane here. We're here on Lake Gunnersville and you know summertime fishing here is phenomenal you know because you got the, the grass has really come back strong and TVA is really taking it over and you know taking over the spraying which has allowed the grass to really come back and define those edges and allow those bass and bait fish to hide in that grass and it's a great amb ambush point for bass to attack so get in there flip you know the new drop dead crawl from Lucky Strike is what I love to use out here catch giant bass have fun when it gets hot Water's beautiful, jump in, go for a swim, and enjoy your stay on Lake Gunnersville.